excited this morning to be checking in with mainframe. Uh, of course, we have the director uh, Siobhan Spain joining us this morning as you have started a new initiative a pilot program called Iowa Creative Incubator. And I want to read this because I, I think this is incredible. You have a mission to forge new pathways between artists and businesses to build more collaborative, more vibrant and more connected communities, which sounds so important, not only in the world we're living with the pandemic, but us all just trying to find ways of connecting with one another. So Siobhan, thank you for joining us. Tell us about this pilot program. What exactly is it? How did it come to be? So um, the pandemic made a lot of uh, new uh, needs very relevant. Um, you know, the fact that there's no holiday markets and outlets for artists to connect with, uh, with audiences this year. I was really sensitive to the fact that we need to create uh, new opportunities. And this creative incubator has been in the back of my mind for a while and decided now's the time to see what we can make happen. So the idea is to really give personalized support to artists that have these ideas that want to go bigger with their career and really connect with business partners and organizations in the community. So we wanted to make sure that they had helped to do that. And artists need audience to survive in Iowa, in Des Moines, and I want them to thrive here. So part of that is like, how can we forge new partnerships for a better community, take advantage of these strange times, stretch ourselves in new ways and see how we can make new connections and have a deeper connection with the arts by helping realize these great projects that these people have in mind and help them reach a new level with these ideas and bring the community along with them because they're really important. We have so much talent in Des Moines, great ideas, and it's really fun to support these new artist fellows along the way. Absolutely, and I think a big part of that is just connecting, knowing uh, who these individuals are and the great work that they're doing, not only in art, but in the community. So I wanna talk about one this morning that blew me away with video that you sent us, and that is a Dion Michael Kelly. Uh, talk about this fellow and the great work that's happening here. Yeah, so so we did applications. We, we did this, to back up just a little bit, this is a very quick turnaround. Um, we did an application process for five artist fellows, excuse me, <clears throat> to apply. Um, Dion's application really stood out. He um, started this organization called Beyond Walls. And what he wants to do with this organization is basically work with hip hop, um, nature, and even body alignment to do positive projects with the community. And I just thought that was so dynamic of an idea. And he is really looking to um, make more connections, um, ensure the success of this program, even though it's really having an impact already, we will help him in any way he needs to make it more uh, successful and, and further reaching. So he's been working with Emmett Phillips in Oak Ridge in Station One Records to start this new program there called Writing History. And that has been such an interesting project where they involve kids um, from Oak Ridge and have them tell their stories through hip hop and song and togetherness. And it's been really fun to see um, the excitement behind this work. and. I can't wait to see what happens from here on out with this, with help from the incubator. Absolutely, uh, and that's just one example. So, and you, I love seeing how he's working with kids and using the arts in so many positive ways. How does this incubator work now? Are we getting connected with these individuals virtually? Or how do organizations say, I wanna be a part of this? How does this all work? So we have, um, so it's basically a four month fellowship program, which means we're going to help as much in these four months to see what we can make happen with five individuals. 
Um, part of it will, they have access to space at mainframe for a cohort working space. And that's sometimes really important for people to have a place to go and work on their projects that's free from other distractions. Um, another aspect will be about 30 hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching with Bo Kenyon. He's a local artist that transplanted, like went to Boston, did these great projects, and then is back now as an educator and consultant. Um, so we're working with him on these coaching, one-on-one um, -on -one coaching program that helps like goal setting and connect with business leaders and um, making those, making sure the connections with business leaders is successful as well. So we're hoping to guide all that. Um, and then we will do a lot of that interaction virtually, of course, with the pandemic, but we will hopefully be telling their stories along the way through blogs on our, our site, through hashtags with um, the social media, Iowa Creative Incubator, and then um, hopefully you'll see them in the news as they get uh, off and running even more. But anybody can reach out to Mainframe with interest, info at mainframestudios.org, and we'd be happy to talk about the possibilities. Absolutely, and I encourage people to go check out the website, mainframestudios.org. That's just a link to so many incredible creative things that are happening in our community and now the Iowa Creative Incubator. There's lots of links to these fellows that are part of this program and just get connected because there's some incredible people in our community doing amazing things. And Siobhan, you always amaze me of finding unique and uh, wonderful opportunities to shine a spotlight on the good that is happening uh, through art. So thank you so much for letting us know about this and let us know how we can continue to highlight these incredible artists. Absolutely, I'll stay in touch for oh, sure. Thank all right, you so thank much. you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Uh, if you feel comfortable enough, Mainframe does have events every once in a while. Great holiday gift ideas with local artists doing extremely unique things. But again, check out the website, mainframestudios.org if you'd like to learn more about this creative incubator.